Join me if you want to see my space go from this to this and all the details of how it got there. Hi, my name's Kristen. I'm a professional organizer. Join me while I organize a neglected space. I'm about to expose myself that I am not perfect. Are you ready? That is my workshop. We moved into a rental over a year and a half ago, and that is how I've been functioning with my tools because I don't know what else to do, and I've completely neglected that area. So I'm gonna revamp this area. I have no plans. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna kind of talk out loud and narrate as I go. This is kind of the first video I'm gonna be doing this. And then let me just give you a little insight to this area and how it got that way. This area does not interfere with our day to day. Right around the corner here is the basement door. This is an 1850s farmhouse. The basement is unfinished. Nothing should live down there. So we, if we go down there, it's to treat the sub pump or switch a fuse. So not really using that door. And then this closes off so you don't see it. Cat litter box is right here behind this curtain. So this is kind of just like the forgotten land of the house. We have no attic. Uh, possibilities for storage because it's covered in insulation. So our storage is really minimal. Also our garage space, you might say, oh, put the tools out in the garage. The garage is covered, but it does um, not have insulation. So it's hot and cold extremes. We're in Pennsylvania here and it's exposed a little bit to the elements. Uh, it's not completely finished. So this is really it. What I'm gonna do first, well, I'm gonna follow my four-step process, and that's also in my book. If you haven't gotten my book, it's purge, sort, contain, and maintain. I have no budget. I'm not probably gonna, I'm not really gonna buy anything. I'm just gonna get creative. I'm gonna use the stuff I have, use the space that I have here. Um, I'm probably going to need to get creative with how to incorporate some of the most commonly used things here out in our day-to-day -day area and figure out how I can try to like sneak it in and maybe hide it. So I think that's the biggest thing I'm gonna need to do. There are some ongoing projects that are here that I need to do and handle. So um, I may get to that today. Who knows? Um, let's go. Generally, when you start any organizing project, you need space to work. I'm just gonna clear it out so we have space to sort and move about as easily and comfortably and seamlessly as possible. All right, so here's the status. I've got my toolbox back there. This is the stuff I access a lot that I'm gonna maybe try to incorporate into my other living spaces because I come for a hammer and nail quite often. And some of these are unfinished projects that I need to follow through on. There's that basement door. I'll give you a quick sneak peek. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't stand up down here and this is no place for storage. <laughs> Cobwebs. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, uh, step one, I'm gonna purge and I'm gonna sort. Purge sorting and uh, kind of pull everything out, get my categories and then go from there. So I started sorting categories and just for this video's sake, I'm going to show you the categories that I made with a Sharpie and some painter's tape. If I was supporting a client, I might use bins for these piles, but it's a small project. I'm just gonna use the floor and just make piles. So I'm sorting stuff that's already containerized and labeled. I've got relocate, trash. I'm gonna throw that in the laundry. I started a donate pile. Uh, this is stuff to do, projects and to do, and that's what I got so far, and this is stuff I need to hang up. Okay, I just found this. We have a few windows that are painted shut, hence we're renting, and there's no window that opens that does not have a screen, so this does not need to be sitting in there. And I'm just trying to critically think, uh, where could we put it? We personally don't need it, but we want to remember that we have it. Um, so that's always the tough part is like, where should it go? Ah, 
There are some leftover carpet tiles or carpet, yeah, like carpet squares on the attic steps. We do not access the attic at all, but there are some supplies left over there from when they remodeled the house. I'm gonna relocate this and put this in the relocate pile. Okay, I just found some uh, gooey paint and things. Goof off, which is flammable, some paint and wood putty from a project that I was doing. I like to flip furniture, sand stuff, paint it. And uh, paint should not live in extreme temperatures. They should not be outside if you have really cold or hot weather. Uh, so my uh, storage for paint is these shelves on the way down to the basement because they are sealed up really well and nothing can really get dirtier inside of them. Let me show you. Okay, so we're heading back to that lovely basement. Ooh. Oh. That was a trap I set for myself. Okay, this unnecessary long curtain rod can uh, can go. There's no window that's that big in our house. So luckily we have these shelves right here that were already with the house and that's where I keep my paints and tarps and painting supplies. So we're gonna go ahead and just do this with the acetone, the flammables, and it does not get too hot or too cold here and then we'll keep the paints nice. Ah, this is a great teaching point right here. So, I had left out this painting little rinsing brush rinse brush. Bleh. I had left out this brush rinsing cup because it doesn't easily fit back into my toolbox. So, what am I doing here? I'm creating a jigsaw puzzle in my toolbox so that when I want to just toss something back, I'm creating too many steps and I always leave this cup out. So I have to make space uh, ultimately uh, so that this doesn't happen again. If you make it too much like a jigsaw puzzle, you can't just you know toss it back in and close it up. So that's a one uh, really good organizing point I wanted to mention. Um, I'm just trying to think if I have doubles. I can always get an extra jar. So I'm gonna relocate that, recycle. And then that clears up some space in there and that should fit just fine. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. And I have a paintbrush. There's a paintbrush in here. Let's get that, put that in my painting toolbox. Alrighty, perfect, painting. Okay, the floor is clear, onto the shelves. An empty toolbox. I guess I never filled it. I had, I guess, ambitions to think that I was going to maybe put uh, some of these things in here. I don't know if I'm going to. I'm gonna set this aside with empty containers. I have another empty container bin here that I found. These are some of my favorites. Uh, just like make a little empty container organizing pile and then see if I need them. Oh, these tarps I just threw in there. Why? Because those tarps on the basement shelves that you just saw, too many steps away, and because that was so cluttered back there, I didn't want to take the time to open two doors, unlock the door, and put these, and step over the pile to put these away. I'm gonna commit to myself that I will keep it cleaner and make it more accessible so that I will be able to do it because those shelves are a really, really great spot for these. Okay, I can just feel all the dirt on my feet right now. I have sensory issues with my feet. So I'm gonna go get the vacuum and the broom. <laughs> okay, okay. Aha, a manual with some parts to a window air conditioner that I just installed two weeks ago. I'm gonna give this some time to see if I need it. It's like extra insulation. I feel like I could use extra insulation. We're in a very drafty house. So if I won't use it for that, I will use it elsewhere. I am handy. I know myself, I will use it. Um, in fact, I did it on the door uh, last winter and it's got some extra parts with it. And um, I have a parts box for that. Let's put that in there. Okay. 
Okay, yes, I know. I could throw the manual away. I could, but this is new. And I have some, when I have something new, I have a tendency to hold on to it just for a little bit until I can get familiar with it and know that I no longer need it. And this is the only parts I have. In fact, I could probably purge this at some point in the future. Okay. Okay. There we go, parts. All right, we got the floor clear. It's feeling a lot better. We got a little baby down there. Uh, I put these shelves in here and they've been very, very helpful. Um, I kind of wish I had some higher shelving to take advantage of the vertical space. When you live in a small place, um, you can use the back of the doors and then you go vertical. So I'm wondering with what I have to work with, could I go vertical? But love these shelves. This is a deep windowsill here. Um, look at the mold. We live in a very, very moist household. Um, it's a little concerning sometimes. So I'm going to keep sorting this, purging and sorting. Okay, when I'm filming videos, I don't have a lot of examples in my house. Uh, so I have to create examples sometimes to show you. So I'll, like, I'll set up a system so that I can give you that example. And this was one in, I think, my cousins and coworkers video. I created like this little tray for like, if you have like stuff to glue together. Um, so this goes back in my painting toolbox, painting supplies. Um, this goes back with my glue over there, relocate. These go back to the kitchen, relocate. And where does this live? My toolbox. I have an empty organizing container to use later. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make a friendship bracelet anytime soon again. Um, but actually I could use string. I have some, uh, some vines that are growing, some morning glory flowers that grow and I have no twine and I ran out of string. So I like to be resourceful. So I'm gonna use this as my string and twine replacement for now. Yeah, I'm not making friendship bracelets. Not with two cats around. Ah, you may have seen the video where I installed those uh, in my shower, those metal shelves to hold your like big soaps and uh, pumps and dispensers. They have been great. They haven't budged at all. They're holding all the weight. It came with a soap dispenser with some hooks. I'm not gonna really, I mean, we might move and I could buy this. It's what, 10, $15 for me. Everybody's different, but for me, I think I can let this go and it comes with a little adhesive thing. So I'm gonna stick this in. Actually, I'll take this out. This is a backup strip for those upstairs. I'm gonna stick this in here and donate it to either maybe Habitat for Humanity because they have like home improvement stuff there. Donate. I don't, this is just an extra backup one. And when you take those shelves down, you, you um, heat it up with a blow dryer or something hot and it melts the adhesive, but it's only one. I don't think I'm just gonna like hold on to this. Will I even remember I have it? And when we move, I'll probably just leave those shelves behind. I think this house is getting demolished in the future. It's really sad. I'll tell you about it later. I don't even know. Okay, trash. Hmm. This house is very drafty. Again, it's from the 1850s. It has been remodeled. There are new windows, but you can just feel the air in the winter come through. I put this plastic, plastic cling wrap up on the windows this winter and, <laughs> and covered some of them with wool, like a wool tarp. And uh, some have sh thermal shades, pull down shades and cloth curtains. And it helped a lot because we have oil heat and that's expensive. So anyway, my point is, um, this is all part of the organizing process. Just talking it out loud, you know, give and take, thinking it through. Um, if we are, we are, yeah, we are going to be here at least till the end of the year. Our lease is up. We don't know what's happening after that. And um, this definitely came in handy. It's not that expensive. So in the scheme of things, I probably wouldn't need to, to keep it, but um I want to and I'll know where it is and I will use it again. But here's the thing is that when it's um, not in a container, it, you can't stack stuff on top of it. So it's a little in the way. So what I really should do 
empty container. That way it's something uh, stackable. Let's see if I can look this in here easily. Yay, great. Just needs a little label. I might just throw a temporary painter's tape label on for now instead of going, distracting myself and getting a label maker. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Window insulation. Window insulation. It's good to think of a broad category cause so that in case in the future there's something else that would fit into this topic. Actually, if I wrote insulation, that stuff a few minutes ago from the air conditioner install, the, that foam stuff, if all I kept was that foam stuff, I could incorporate that into insulation. Ditch the manual, ditch the extra parts, and just keep that insulation. You know what? You have an idea there. Insulation. I think that's what I'm going to do. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, an air conditioner is pretty straightforward. There might be some maintenance to it, but... You know what? Okay, okay, all right. This is, um, you know, I'm having second thoughts. I feel like I want to put this up. It's just because it's new and I'm not familiar with this type of appliance. And it's just nice to be able to, for me, just to grab this. I'm going to put this manual upstairs in my manuals. I know so many people are like, why? Up in my manuals. I'm going to pull the foam. I'm going to put the foam in the insulation bin. Insulation. There we go. Yep. And then these extra parts are for another type of window. I don't know what my future holds. I'm gonna save the screws and put them with my screws and I'm gonna ditch this hardware. Trash. Empty organizing container possibilities. I'm just gonna go put this with my little screws. Small screws. I think these are the things I need to be have closer access to, not back in there. Because when you want to go grab, when you want to go grab something like tiny, either go get it or pull it out to go. Just I don't know. Just extra steps for something tiny is so mundane to me and a little maddening. But to each their own. Okay. What is this? It's a pump. What did this come with? Oh, tether ball. Ha <laughs> ha. Tether ball. It's a pump for the tether ball, but it could also pump up. It's just a generic needle. What's this stuff here? I think I can find out this generic tether ball zone area. And I don't think we're going to be measuring and spray painting a tether ball zone. We just have fun battened around so trash that that's findable and this little pump can go out in the garage with the blow up balls ah oh a good teaching moment here so i've made a series mm, two videos called make it bigger when you have something small like this you got to make it bigger if it just lays around it can fall down anywhere get lost so whether it's taping it to a piece of paper or putting it in a Ziploc bag and write, you know, needle, uh, any way that you can create a, you know, make it bigger, right? Okay, got it. Got it, get it, good. You know, like I use an example in one of the videos, like uh, when you go to like the, the, the roadside gas stations and uh, you ask for the key to the bathroom and they give it to you on a big hanger, like that, relocate. Okay, I gotta, I gotta be honest with myself about these. Um, so these were up like on our, in our driveway when we moved in here and it freaked me out. They're like little spy things. And there's a little red light. Oh yeah, they're the red light is going off right now. So they are motion sensors. And I guess they have some type of relay thing that I don't know who has that. Um, that says when they detect motion. 
Um, I'm assuming they're outdated. Nobody's getting any information, but they're, I think they're solar powered maybe. Anyway, so it's so creepy. It still creeps me out that the red light's going off because of the motion. Anyway, I thought I might like try to figure it out and buy the little relay piece and hook them up, but I'm kind of over that and we're probably gonna be moving soon and we'll just get a fresh system whenever that happens. I'm not just gonna let these sit around anymore. So I'm gonna trash these or maybe I could recycle them at the scrap metal yard. My battery organizer. I really love being able to grab batteries. But now that I've had this experience, there's just, there's a downfall. Only so many fit in each slot. So if you buy a big bulk of batteries, you still have leftover mishmash. And I, I actually took over the slot. What slot is this? Oh, the D is he's not oh, nine volts. I took out, took over the nine volt slot with all my extra double A's. So great, but not great. Um, I think I would almost rather have a drawer. I think a drawer is best because batteries are heavy versus a container. Some people have something called a battery daddy. I think it's like a shark tank type of thing, but I've uh, experienced that and it's very heavy and I don't like just to grab, again, it's back to the thing of like, I just wanna grab a tiny thing. You gotta pull something heavy down, unclip it, lift the lid. It's just too many steps for me. I wanna pull, open the drawer, grab the battery. So. That's goals for me. I'm not trying to complicate my systems right now. This is, this is fine, this is fine. It's just not ideal scenario. Um, I'm just being particular and just whenever I have an opportunity to share um, an, um, a talking point or a teaching lesson, and this is the hardware to hang it. Um, we just, we have plaster walls here and I don't know. I don't know if I need to hang this. Again, we're moving maybe in six months. So to think about hanging things is kind of like pointless at this point. So this is minor compared to the bigger project I have. So I'm gonna just leave this be and uh, I can always hang it if I need to. The fun part about being an organizer is when a client says, what's this? What does this do? Because if you don't know what it is and you keep it, you're never gonna go to it to use it, right? So it's good to try to identify. And I love knowing what things are and I love identifying stuff from my clients. Um, I believe this is an electric tester for electricity because it has a little light at the end of it and a little metal prong with a cap. Um, anybody wanna drop in the comments what this is? So I had created a box that is electric stuff like electric work because my toolbox was overflowing. So it's like, I've got a soldering kit in here, some solder. Um, ooh, these little shrink tubes. I mean, it's a little overkill, but it's all I could order on Amazon. Shrink tubes for when your chargers, like your iPhone charger starts to become loose or separate, it reinforces your, your wires. So if I'm ever doing some electric work like this, my uncle gave this to me is to test an outlet. There's little directions attached there. So I'm gonna stick that in there. I wanna learn these things. I wanna improve. I wanna collect more tools. I wanna be more handy. So I need to label this. Um, I have too many things going. I'm gonna label that in a second. I'm gonna leave it at my feet so I don't forget. Um, command hook, that goes in with other hooks. Wait, it's this, no. Oh, that was parts. That goes back downstairs or on the shelves. Oh, I have a hooks box. Uh, to hang things box. So that's going to the stairs as well. Oh boy, what was this? Oh gosh, I used this recently. It was part of something. Ah, ah, I don't know. Trash. I could put it in my parts box, but it's, it's trash. Um, okay, Fiskars, really nice uh, trimming. I do have a gardening box in this closet right here. So this is just relocate so I don't get distracted. Okay, my relocate pile is getting somewhat big, but I'm almost done purge sorting. So let me relocate these to the top of the stairs and I'll be right back. Just wanted to show you my hardware and hooks box. I've got backup binder clips. I use these a lot for organizing clients and just around the house. Um, I've got command strips uh, and Velcro, suction cups, magnets, hooks. Um, 
got things like, you know, these big utility wands. Love these, like hang your bike in the garage. Um, I'm always using and looking for stuff like this. So it's really nice to have it on hand. Just wanted to show you that. Okay. I put this at my feet because I needed to make a label. This is electrical. Electrical supplies, electrical work. Oh boy, where did I put the things? Uh-oh, oh no. My marker and my painter's tape. Ooh. Goodness gracious. I have to admit, I'm a little distracted filming and talking and doing, ah, there it is. <laughs> Electrical. Not getting too specific on the name, that way anything connected to electricity or electrical stuff can uh, be included. And I'm just doing quick stuff, uh, quick labels for uh, uh, time's sakes. Time's sake, electrical. This is rarely used. I'm gonna start being more decisive about what's there that I'm really truly using. Um, I'm not really doing anything with this. So this is gonna go on the basement steps. Shelves, basement shelves, not the steps, that's a hazard. Ooh, there's still a good amount of space on the bottom shelf there. So I have room to improve. That might be great. I actually, if I can really keep this really, really clear and go up a little bit, I have, I have an idea. I have a really good idea that could really help me. Um, I may not need to bring any of this stuff out into the space. One thing I really do need, I need a hammer close by. I'm gonna put it in this little command center over here. Let me shift you over. Then you can see my relocate pile down here. That's my relocate pile, okay. So this is our little, our old, well, kind of command center area. It's got paper clips, all the tape, glue, tape gun. Uh, I'm gonna stick this hammer in here. Make sure it's easy to grab. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. There we go. So now I can just open the drawer, grab the hammer. If I don't, if I don't make any big changes, that's gonna be the best change I've made. I'm looking at that relocate pile thinking it's almost time. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do next. Relocate. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go upstairs first. That goes upstairs. This goes upstairs. And I think that is it. I'm going to run upstairs. I'll be right back. Okay, relocate pile next. We got some trash, trash. Laundry, uh, recycle, scrap metal yard. Rules to the relocate pile. Do not include anything that is going to create another project somewhere else. Only have stuff that you know that you can set in the next direction without creating another issue elsewhere. I have staged those little black things to bring to the garage for scrap metal. I will do that on my way out the door next time around. Everything else gets put away right away. All right, next. These gloves are going to the kitchen. This blue is going into this drawer with the other blue. Ah, I found another piece of trash. Donate. Trash. Ah, another garage item. Another garage item, another scrap metal yard item. Be right back. Okay, everything is relocated except for a little pile that's going out to the garage. Oh, uh, oh, we got a donate. We got an extra donate here. And these little clips go in this closet in my gardening box. Ugh. Okay, and cleaning supplies. Donate. Time for uh, a refresher some deep breaths, get some water, snuggle a kitty. One of the challenges I have when I'm working with a client is I get so honed in, my brain is just like, it's a big jigsaw puzzle and I'm, I'm just locked in and I don't wanna stop to eat. It took me years to slow down and finally pack a lunch and take a minute, 
Balance is really good because it makes us better when we're balanced and we take a minute. Okay, that's enough. Onward. Oh, this little string I talked about earlier got to go in this drawer. With the other string things. Okay, well, I have purge sorted pretty much everything. There are some smaller things I could go through. I'm not doing that today. This is just a general overall. So I just want to wipe these shelves down and wipe the mold off of that windowsill. I gotta get my cleaning supplies. I'll be back. clean all clear now you can almost do a cartwheel in here um so i'm gonna start with the big stuff the shelves definitely coming back my larger items first because the larger items only have so many places they can live and then the small stuff works in around it i've purged i've sorted now it's time to contain and think about how i can maintain this better so it doesn't get so out of hand this shelf is like the perfect fit. It's incredible. Just wish it wasn't as high so it didn't cover the windowsill. Okay. This insulation bin, I'm probably only gonna access one more time, maybe before we leave, right before the winter to insulate. So that's gonna go on the, I'm gonna put that on the uh, shelves on the basement steps. All right. Light bulbs. We access those, access those somewhat often so we're going to go down halfway down here pest control this used to be full of stuff because our last place had a lot of mice and we had tons and tons of uh of pest control i think this all can kind of go um ew yeah some of this liquid ant poison i'm sorry yes i use poison um, we get overrun by ants sometimes, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to dump this out and I think I could reuse this bin. This would be nice to have. So I'm going to set this aside as a side project for later towards the end. My toolbox. I think I could probably reduce this, but I don't take it anywhere. I go to it and pull from it and every now and then I redo it. So it's not in bad shape and back here is a really nice place for it to be so yeah that's fine i mean in an ideal world this is like hung up on a wall and i just walk in and just grab it or i have a really nice tool chest with drawers mm, a girl can dream my painting toolbox this is for um painting pretty, but also uh, sanding and painting stuff. Um, ooh, did you hear that thunder? Uh, I use this pretty often, but because it's large and somewhat heavy, it's going down low. Oh, like a glove. My drill, gotta have my drill. I don't grab this bag. I come in and just get the drill and go. So I leave it unzipped because again, one more step involved. I just like to be able to come in and grab it and go. I always have a battery charged. I don't think, I think my goal to maintain is to leave this clear. Because let's face it, when you're working on a project, sometimes you're just, you're, you're tossing your tools around and you need some type of like a workspace to spread out onto. Um, like if I'm going through my toolbox and I'm pulling stuff out and then I can do a, a, a reset, a put away because everything will have a home. But I think my goal is to leave this clear. I think that would really be helpful. So my drill's going to go, this is going to be considered the top kind of, and this is going to stay clear other than, uh, just a transition kind of throw stuff. Now, 
Spackling is either painting box or painting supplies, Spigger's painting supplies on the shelves with the rollers. Okay. Next, the kitties are here. This is a tough one. I'm not, I'm not sure about this. So when I get into a sanding project, these are my sanding pads. I don't even know what these are for, but I use them to brush away sawdust. Um, I liked kind of having this in here versus the garage, because I think over time in the garage, moisture and elements could possibly ruin this tool. I'm thinking. There is a project that I want to do soon. There's a table I want to sand. What's the ideal scenario? Start ideal. Ideal, I want it accessible. I want it right here. The garage is kind of across the river and through the woods. Actually, you have to jump over a stream to get to the garage. So I'd like to keep this here. I'm going to start ideal. This is what I do with a client too. We're going to lay it out picture perfect how you want it and then see as things start to come through if that can stay ideal. Um, does it need to go in a toolbox? That empty toolbox that I had. I don't know if I have enough to, to fill a whole toolbox. So I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna stage it down below. I think it would make sense to put these all together so they're not all scattered everywhere. Man, I love a good Ziploc. If only they could be recyclable. Maybe that does exist now. I haven't checked, but Ziploc for the win. Okay. Yeah, that'll sit, that'll sit down there real nice. Okay, the bottom shelf's filled. I don't have that much left. I really need, I think I really need drawers ultimately. Like a bunch of shallow drawers would be really nice. Like one like freestanding unit, but I'm not gonna spend the money. I don't prioritize buying and organizing stuff. Not until I'm settled in a permanent location. So I love this little tackle box. Um, just like little hooks, you know. There's some, I have my sewing kit in here, safety pins, you know, bookshelf pins, um, picture frame hanging. This is great, I love this. I have no problem with this, zip ties. I kind of have this replicated around the corner a little bit in that one unit that I was showing you. I had it up top and I really liked it because this was like the closest thing. As soon as you open the door and you come through, it's right there and I leave it open. But again, my goal to leave this up top. Who's calling me? Stop it. Okay. So, ooh, this isn't gonna be up top. We're gonna try ideally. Maybe it's back here next to my toolbox. They can be buddies. Let's get a, let's get a shot of that. I wish I had better space to film. There's the tackle box, there's the toolbox, and we still have an open shelf up top there to uh, leave for space. Okay, my battery organizer. Just trying to think, we, we are so limited with storage elsewhere. I wish I could like give you a whole tour, but that's not gonna happen. Um, okay. I'm really exposing my brain process here if anybody's really gonna watch this. I don't even know. Um, I don't go to this much, maybe once a month. So why have it out if it's not everyday use? We have no other storage or closets elsewhere that's like a shallow drawer. Everything's a deep drawer or a high priority real estate. I've talked in other videos where like, thinking of your house as real estate is like anything within reach, easy access. That's like hot prime real estate. And this does not deserve prime real estate. I've answered my question. It, well, they were here. I think here's good. I think I like that spot. Oh, I thought, I thought the power just went out, but I, I unplugged the, the cord with my foot. I was like, oh no, I can't film anymore, but all the other lights are on. <sighs> okay, um, all right, I've got all these little screws here. Um, I had them up top. Uh-oh, what are we doing now? I'd rather, I'd like to have them open so I can just go and grab them. I feel like 
remember I put the hammer around the corner out there? I think having like one little nail, small nails, just like when you need that tiny little nail is gonna go out there with the hammer. I'm just gonna put it there now. Yeah, that, that little jar will sit perfectly in that drawer. There's still space. Okay, um, these two small ones, well, this large eye hooks, they can go back. They can go back into here. This stuff's not as used. These are more unique scenarios. But the nails and screws are more common. Um, yeah, I've got like nails here, larger nails, small screws, large, large to medium screws. Um, there's a little spot on the windowsill. I'll show you here in a second. I'm gonna set them there. Just right in there to the left. That's fine. In fact, I could, I might just take these lids off and leave these open and I can identify, I can see what they are. There's the small screws, large screws, and larger nails to grab. So yeah, if I'm doing a project, I'll probably grab this and bring this with me anyway. So I think that's good. It, it's, it's in line with the keeping of this top clear. <laughs> There's not gonna be anything left in here. It's gonna be completely empty. Okay, that's nice. Oh, I never addressed this not working light. We have electricity issues in this place too. The overhead lights upstairs and here, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. That's a little scary. Okay, the items are getting smaller and more random. Okay, these are, these are adapters. Um, I don't know why I have them out. I probably could label them, but I can see them. They just go in my toolbox. I don't know why they were sitting out. I guess I pulled them out. Um, all right, this is, this is this is this extra rust super rusted uh, adapters I do grab these I in fact I had to have find a star drive the other day uh, to do something so um, they're super rusted those live in my toolbox but because they're small and I want to grab them I don't want to dig for them so I think I was leaving them out <gasps> I think I have an idea remember this from earlier Yay! Stuff that I commonly use in this tray, out and open, but contained. Remember, we're on step three, contain, which is figuring out what, what uh, type of drawer, bin, shelf, uh, container is going to contain that category. Then we have mini tools and a drill bit set. Um, I use the drill bit set way more than I use mini tools. Do I even use these? Let's see. Mm, mm, it's tough with tools sometimes. I can forgive myself. This isn't a big deal to have. This is nice when you have some detail work. Um, I think I think the drill bit set should go with my drill down here or next to it or on top of it, at least there. And then I think the mini tools could go in here with this because I don't want to put the mini tools down in my toolbox. I'm not going to remember it's there. So let's go sideways like that. That's nice. That's nice. And maybe I could actually pull out some commonly used things like, oh, you know what? You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh, yeah. Three flat, dr th flat drives. Flat dr flash drives? <laughs> um, three flat. Why can't I think of them? Anyway, three of these. Uh, one of them could go in that drawer when I want to grab one really quick. Yes. Yes. Um, that's awesome. And then do I have a regular Phillips head? I don't know why, I always forget what Phillips head is. Where is it? No? No? Oh, oh, I have a project upstairs. I have to install a fire alarm. It's upstairs. Okay, the flat one, this is a big heavy duty. That's staying. Okay, that's great. Relocate. Ah, okay. Felt. Felt. Sliders. Moving things. Bumpers. Uh, furniture protection, you know, that category. This isn't very much considering what some people have, but uh, I'm a big fan of uh, felt sliders to protect your fragile wood floors. Um, I don't have a container. <gasps> I do. That pest control container. Uh, I still feel like I need a container for pest control, but I have nothing to put in it. So for right now, the pest control container, this is getting emptied out and cleaned. And once that's clean, I'm gonna put, mm, what's the category here? 
furniture protection. I don't know. I think for now I'll just put felt and then see if it grows. I think this is it's kind of its own thing. I don't think it has any, does it have any cousins or coworkers? Coworkers to felt sliders. Yeah, it's attached to furniture. Nothing that I have at least right now. It's And I'm almost done. I think this is actually like one of the last categories. So I think it's its own thing. I will um, do this later and this, where will the felt go? I do grab the felts often because they fall out, they fall off. So we're gonna go middle shelf down there. I could put it on the shelves. I still have a little spot over there, but um, I'm gonna have to handle this first. And I should probably go do that. Let me just go do that. I'll be right back with you. Thank you for your patience. Furniture felt, fresh clean bin with a chance of adding something else to it. We do use this uh, somewhat frequently. So we're gonna go down next to the light bulbs. Might be a little big of a container, but um, I've got the space and I want it in a bin so you can stack on top of it. Okay, I got some extra electrical tape and duct tape. So, hmm. Um, I just had it on a, in a little stack here because the drawer that holds tape and glue will not fit the duct tape and I guess I could put, because I have extra rolls, you know, you've seen like my cousins and coworkers and family, if you have multiples, I mean, why not? If you want, put uh, an extra with uh, each, you know, each area, each category. So um, this will go with its family, cousins, other tape that does different types of taping. Uh, so I'll probably go to that before I come in here for electrical tape. So this is going to go with that electrical box that I had earlier. And then we've got two random rolls of duct tape. Um, this is kind of just like a back stock, a back roll. I actually ordered this, which I don't do much. I ordered this and I didn't, couldn't find this one. Um, such a Ooh! thunder. Um, I don't want to just uh, put it anywhere, you know, you gotta really think it through, just decide. I have a tendency to want to put it there, but it gets really moist on those stairs and I don't know how that would affect these over time. So I guess, I guess there's a spot right there. I guess it's right there. It's just like an oddball thing and it's not going in, in a container and it can't fit with the other tape. So, oh, it feels funny, but hey, there's a beautiful little spot right down there. Let me show you. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. It's clear, it's obvious. There's not much to look through. I would say if I had a big elaborate system, lots of shelves and all different things, um, but it's visible, it's easy to find. If I'm looking for it, it'll bite me because it's right there. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. <laughs> Did that? I don't know if that made sense. Okay, um, that's actually it for pretty much the categories. The next thing I have is, um, is like uh, cleaning supplies. Now these were shoved in here because I was hosting some company and uh, reorganizing another area and these were in the way there and they were not they were not good there. It was like in a kitchen pantry overflow and there was just too many categories in that closet and I realized these aren't good. So the only thing in that closet is the broom, the broom and the dustpan, everything else comes back here. So my thought was I could hang these. Um, we're actually not even using this unless, ew. Oh, it's time to, um, it's time to wash this. Uh, we're not really even using this because we have rugs down most of the year. I did just pick up the rugs, but um, you know what? I think this is kind of like an archive right now. I wonder if I can just kind of slide this back in here next to the shelf here. No, it's not gonna, it's not, I thought I could just tuck it right in there. Um, okay, we're gonna wash this. Um, yeah, because I'm not using this, I'm thinking uh, it can go maybe even in the garage but I think I would forget it was in the garage if I did decide I wanted to dry mop the living room. Anyway, it is hangable. It does have a hangable hole there. So I, my thought was either back of the door 
or this wall for hanging up some of these long items. Okay, let's see. We have a, we have a grabber. Does it even work? I actually do use this. Yes, I use this to get toys from under, like cat toys under the refrigerator. Um, and this has come in handy. So this needs to be hung up. Uh, it does have a little thing there to hang, so we could use a nail for that. Um, yeah, a squeegee. I'm wondering if this could live somewhere else, like in the garage. No, because car cleaning stuff is here. And I think this gets hung up too, because it's such an odd shaped item. Everything here has a hole that, that can be hung up. And if need be, you can get like a twisty tie or zip tie to um, change the way it hangs if necessary. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stick some nails up right now. Hey, what's the big idea? Where's my big hammer? Huh. I am missing lightning. Tell you I startle easy, sensory, just sensitive little baby. Um, I gotta go find <laughs> hammer. I do have another hammer, a larger hammer, two other larger hammers somewhere, and I don't know where the other one is. So that's very strange. It's not, it's not like me, but it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna hang them up free of the door. I want to make sure like it doesn't interfere too much with the door. Um, I also thought on the back of the door this door here um sometimes putting stuff on the back of the door can really interfere with like your transition and stuff um we're gonna go ahead and start this is a telescoping thing not be telescoped the smaller ones i'm gonna put over here to my left up here and then i think the longer i've got two three longer ones i'll do here I don't know if I can grab that angle. Yeah, I think that's good. What? Do. Okay, so here's a good example. You're trying to hang something, and if it's flush on the wall like this, you want it to hang like that, but look where the hole is. So it would stick out like this against the wall. So I'm gonna get a zip tie. Actually, I have a zip tie right here. Grab a zip tie. There, and then you can hang it. You can hang it flush on the wall. All right, we got three things hung up. Three go. Swiffer. Gosh, I don't. I don't use this. Uh, I don't use this. Donate or give away. Hmm. I think you could donate that. I'll ask when I go to the donation store. Cobweb duster. Ooh, I actually need to use this like ASAP right now. The cobwebs are crazy in this place. Uh, let's see. Because of the big head, I almost want to hang it like two, like a prong, so the big head is not down here getting, you know, knocking it off. But my large nails are out in the garage and it's raining and I don't wanna go outside. So no big deal. For now, I think it's fine here. Last but not least, the big one. Ooh, smart. I love a company that's smart. Look, a swivel. Mm-hmm. They thought things through. Oh, oh. Hmm. It's moving off the wall. I don't like it. Hmm. Oh, that's not, that's not okay. It's sticking out. Well, I'm not using it though. Hmm. Okay, so what if it just hung this way, long ways like that? 
Okay, that's that's not terrible. Oh, does it rotate this way? Oh, it does. <gasps> stay, stay. It's not a big deal. I can live with this. It's a rarely used space. It's not getting in the way of the door. I don't think I'm gonna bump it. I think we're fine. Okay, great. Nails back, hammer away, swift or relocate. We still have an extra empty tool toolbox and an empty Ziploc bag. I reuse these for my client projects, so I'll stick this in with my uh, organizing tools. And I think I will send this out to the garage um, because out there I have some tools that I need to go through and organize. So I'm gonna stick that in the next place. It will most likely be used when I revisit that area. Last but not least, projects. <sighs> well, I was gonna hang these, but then we found out that we might be moving. These are shelves that I was gonna put my plants on above the washer and dryer. Um, I love to paint over old canvases, so I was going to paint over this canvas. Uh, two curtain rods for the guest room. I don't have all curtain rods for this house because there's so many windows. I use tacks to hang my curtains. This is a shade, two, two um, window shades that I was going to install one in the kitchen. Ah, choices. It's hard to make a decision when you don't know your future. How long you're gonna be here. Curtain rods, I would bring, probably bring with us because curtain uh, window dressing hardware adds up and can be pricey. In my opinion, I do not value or prioritize curtains uh, and decoration and stuff like that. So I'm a real basic gal for now because we rent, you know, just the standard, standard rods. Do I want to install these? No, I don't. I don't, I don't want to install these. I don't, um, at least not right now to hang, to hang, shelves, and to, to paint. I really wanna just like put off all these decisions right now and these are probably the hardest ones to make out of all of this because it's gonna take up room in here and I don't have room in here for it to take up. I, like, I have to decide right now if I'm going to use these. Painting. Let's let's start with the, the oddball, the, the canvas. Um, I do love painting. I will use this when I feel inspired. I just don't know what I'm painting. And um, the painting stuff lives there. I have other canvases in the garage. I have two, one other canvas out there. That is its family. Its co-workers are here in the toolbox. It's gonna go to the garage. I need to do the garage anyway. So sometimes like if you know you're gonna do a space, like send the stuff there. This is gonna go with the other canvas. I have no, uh, right, right now my radar does not have painting. I have some sanding projects that I wanna do. Nothing like this. Garage. Okay, these shelves, we're gonna go above the washer and dryer. I think I don't think I'm gonna acquire more plants to put those up. It was it was uh, a purchase when I thought we were gonna maybe stay here longer. I'm gonna tape this up. Oh, it's already labeled. I don't think this could live in the garage because of the weather. I think this should live on the basement shelves here for our next move. It was like a $20 purchase. You know, if I was maxing, maxed out at the seams, you know, for $20, I could let them go, but I just, I got them like a month or two ago. All right, um, these curtain rods, you know, it's an easy install and rather have them sit around. It would be nice to not have the pins, the tacks, because the tacks fall down. I'm gonna put this on my active, like uh, shelf. I have like a transition active area in my kitchen. I will install these. These are easier. I could even do that today. I have to install a new smoke alarm upstairs. So 
I think I'm lying to myself right now, but um, I'll give it I'll give it a week. And then these uh, these blinds blinds for the kitchen window. I think this is more desired in the winter time. We don't really need it right now for the summer, so I'm gonna put these in the garage. Okay, I have one project to do: hang the curtain rods. I finished. I'm all done. Very nice. Ooh, this feels so much better. It's since I moved in, I really have not given this any type of attention like I have today. Um, this feels so much better. I'm just kind of soaking it in. Getting these up off the floor was such a big deal. Um, having the floor clear, no safety hazards. I can feel the debris on my feet still. I think I need to do one more little sweep out. But, um, oh, I've got the top here. Actually, I've got a little space down there. I'm going to do that. Now I have my little workbench space. That's uh, how I'm going to, I think, maintain this better. So purge, sort, contain, maintain. Now for the best part, clean up time. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Okay, all done. Thank you for joining me. I hope you learned a little something today. Let's go do a little before and after zoom in. This project took a little over an hour, but it was definitely a lot slower with the narration and going through the decisions out loud for the camera. Uh, I hope you enjoyed all the little teaching lessons. I'm so excited to use this space again. It feels so much better and lighter. Thank you so much for joining me and happy organizing.